Uh, sore throats are um, a very common reason for parents to make uh, an appointment in the office for. Um, sore throats um, can be caused by a variety of different um, causes. Um, I think what most parents are worried about when it comes to a sore throat is strep throat. Um, the interesting thing about strep throat that a lot of people don't realize is that um, if we don't treat a strep throat, it actually oftentimes, probably 80% of the time, will get better on its own without an antibiotic. The only problem is, is that you're fairly miserable until you're done with the infection. So there's also a small percentage of uh, patients who, um, if they have a strep infection that is not treated, will go on to develop a complication of that strep throat. And so there are some symptoms that are associated with um, sore throats that would make me concerned enough to feel like that you need to be um, evaluated. Um, one of them is um, fever over 101, in the face of a sore throat, um, oftentimes there's swelling of the glands in the neck, um, and usually there's an absence of cough. So if you have those symptoms all together, there's a fairly good likelihood that uh, there might be a strep throat going on and we might need to have you um, seen in the office. Um, I think one of the, the concerns that parents have has to do with timing. So if you develop any of those symptoms, I think that there's an urgency, that that's an emergency. It needs to be seen right this second. And the answer to that is actually there's no reason for there to, that to be an emergency. Emergency. With those set of symptoms, we've actually found with um, some studies that have been done that there is no need to be uh, seen on the very first day of an illness. In fact, if we do diagnose a strep infection, we find that the antibiotic is more effective if you actually wait a couple of days before we actually um, uh, treat that. There's no increase in the risk of complications if we defer treating it or um, uh, uh, diagnosing and treating it for two or three days. It doesn't increase the risk of complications. Um, so anybody that feels like that their child has a sore throat, um, especially with some of those other symptoms, um, if it's 10 o'clock at night, you know, it's perfectly fine to wait until the next day to get that looked at. Um, we can usually bring you in. Um, one of the things that I try to teach uh, the residents and the students that rotate through our office is that um, even if you have what looks like a picture-perfect strep throat, which is fever, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, no cough, and then when we look in there and we see big red tonsils probably covered with pus and they're terribly painful, even in this, that setting, only about 30 to 40 percent of those are actually caused by strep. So we need to remember that there are also plenty of viruses that cause sore throats for which an antibiotic won't be helpful. In fact, you can probably create some antibiotic resistance by inappropriately treating a sore throat with an antibiotic. So in my office, it's my practice to always check with a strep uh, test to make sure because even if I think very strongly that you have a strep throat I'm only going to be right about 30 or 40 percent of the time when I do that strep test it'll elevate it to hundred percent of the time when, when we get a positive test you know so if I try to only treat the ones that are truly strep I'm going to do my job better as far as making your child feel better and um, trying to avoid all that antibiotic resistance issues that we've we've been running into